Salut, c'est Marie de Just French It. Now, this episode is going to go deep, super deep actually. Super deep into the study techniques and big rules to follow to make sure that you have results when you are learning French. So you really need to keep on listening and listen closely if you are just starting out French or that you have been studying it since a while maybe, but you don't have the results that you want yet. And you know, if you are in this situation, the method or methods that you are using or tried are probably not bad. Maybe some of them, some of them are good and maybe you like some of them as well and you think uh, that they work sort of well for you. But you also think that it could be better, that you can learn faster, you can learn more efficiently. And that's why you're here, right? You should be speaking more French by now. So what you have done is that you have probably started looking for information on language learning theories and method as a, as a whole. That, that's super cool. It's a, it's a good move. Like, kudos to you. And uh, finally, you ended up on this podcast and you have one important question. How long should I practice? Do I have to study my French every day? What's the good ratio between practice and length of sessions and, um, you know, recurrence of sessions as well? Well, maybe if you are a bit overwhelmed right now and that you think that you are already doing a lot for your French, you might be secretly hoping that I'm going to tell you to just do five minutes a day, uh, but in a very specific way. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to be real with you. So we are going to talk about study and practice sessions, how long they should be and how often you should do them for the best results. But right before that, If you are new here, you need to check out the description of the podcast and uh, click on the daily emails to take your French to the next level with me. Because daily, yes, studying daily is the best for several reasons. First, it's good for your habit building. You are doing it so often that you that not doing it would actually be weird. You are doing it because it would feel weird not to do it. So you keep on doing it, right? Missing one session becomes harder and harder the more you do it. Second, with daily studying and practice, you progressed, you progress fast enough to keep doing it because you have results. So you want to do more. And, you know, we like to do stuff we're good at, right? So you do it even more and even more and you become even better. And that's a virtuous cycle. And the third reason is that it keeps you thinking about it. Languages are something that we need to use on a regular basis to be able to maintain them. Because when you are uh, finally speaking the language that you are speaking, you know, it's, it's not finished. You don't just stop to study. You need to keep on using it to maintain it enough to keep speaking French, Russian or whatever language you learned. And you can actually do, th do this experience Um, at home, it's very easy to do and it will give you an idea of why it's important to keep on thinking about languages and maintaining languages. Just stop talking for 10 hours. No word, no nothing, no French, no English, no, no words. And see how you are doing if you try to have a conversation with someone right after that. I bet it's going to be super hard. I know that it's going to be super hard, actually, because I've done this myself. And it's difficult. It's very difficult. So imagine if you weren't using your French for two weeks. Well, that would give you exactly the same result. Now, the problem with daily, with daily studying, is that it's not very realistic. You know, we all have a life outside of language learning. And there are some days where... Pfft, You don't really want to be bothered with French. You don't really want to study anything. Now, here's what I find works the best. Daily tasks, you know, according and we're going to see how to uh, have daily tasks that you can actually include in your schedule, even if you're busy, with a weekly goal, a general weekly goal. Okay, it sounds like gibberish much, but <laughs> it just means to do a bit each day, but with an overall goal for the week. For example, let's say that next week, my goal is going to be to learn how to use the present tense in French. You know, that's my goal. It's a very specific goal, right? It can be something a bit more general. 
it has to be precise enough to be able to do in a week, obviously. But So to do that, what I've done is that, what I'm going to do is that on Monday, I'll take one hour to look up the rules of in my grammar books of, you know, French tenses, or at least specific, specifically um, the present tense. That's going to take me between... Uh, if I'm if I'm a fast, uh, if I understand very very quickly, maybe 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour. It depends to you. Depends on 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 your brain and how how you like to to do those things. So that will be done for Monday. On Tuesday, what I'll do is that I'll make a list of sentences with a few super common verbs using the present tense. I'll make sure to include a few vocabulary words that I was struggling to learn the week before. That is going to tell me maybe to take me maybe 30 minutes. On Wednesday, I don't have much time. You know, I have this big meeting and I cannot study French for so long. And I'm, I know I'm going to be completely, you know, tired. So what I do is that I'll just make sure to read the sentence that I wrote a few times to read or to remind myself of them, you know, trying to understand and making the connection in my mind of how they were built. That is going to take me 30 seconds each time I think about it. So maybe I'll do it once in the morning, once at lunch and once in the evening or when I have time. On Thursday, I'll read a text in French because I have a bit more time. Uh, so I'll, you know, pick up a blog post, a newspaper article, a chapter of a book I'm reading, something, anything really. And I'll spend 20 minutes reading. On Friday, I have my weekly tutor call and I ask to work specifically on the present tense sentences and I'll ask questions if I have any. That is a one hour session. And on Saturday, I'll give, uh, I'll write a text actually on the present tense. And maybe I'll also watch this movie I talked about with my tutor. Two hours with the movie, you know, 20 minutes with just a text. And on Sunday, well, it's Sunday, so I'm not going to do anything anyway. <laughs> Now, this kind of schedule can seem a bit You know, when I'm saying it like that, it sounds like there is a lot. But when you think about it, this is over a week, a whole week. So it's not so much. And this is the kind of schedule that I like to see because it's specific, yet it varies. So it keeps you interested. You have, you know, different uh, time sessions, five minutes there, 30 minutes there, one hour there. And this is really key because your study sessions shouldn't be all the same. You want to be able to do many things in French, right? Reading an email, reading a book, speaking with the cashier, but also with your friends. So all those things, they don't take the same amount of time. If I'm spending an hour trying to figure out how to speak to the cashier in French, and that I keep on doing it for an hour each time, I won't be able to do a 30 minutes, uh, a 30 seconds, you know, dialogue with the cashier in the end, because it always takes me so much time. But if you only do five minutes a day for a month, you won't have enough results to be motivated to go on. This is not enough. You don't have enough material to be able to progress uh, fast enough so, the, so that you can see the results as well and feel like you are making progress. But if you do one hour per day for a month, you'll be exhausted and you won't have to go and you won't want to go on actually because you, you'll be burned out even if you have results. So it's somewhere in between those two that you have to vary your study sessions. Doing it daily has plenty of, of advantages, 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 oh, something like that. You get my point. But, um, you know, it's up to you, to your schedule, but it needs to be consistent enough for you to see results. Now, the task that I gave you were just examples. You can actually choose the tasks according to what your goal is. You know, if you want to be able to write in French more than speak, then you need to do more writing. If you want to speak much more than you want to write, then you need to train yourself to speak French much more than you need to train yourself to write. And yes, that includes, if you are a beginner as well, the type of um, task, you know, if it's speaking, reading, listening, or um, writing, that's the, first, that's the fourth one. You know, it, those, a lot of teachers are going to tell you to do that uh, and that you need an equal amount of each of them, but it all depends on your goal. Even if you are a beginner, you need to speak if your goal is if to speak. 
you need to listen as well because you know to speak you need to be able to listen they kind of go and in hand those two reading and writing listening and speaking but it all depends on your goal so now what i'm going to do i'm going to leave you to think about it how can you take your french to the next level a little bit each day but more than five minutes in total during your week. What you can do is you can check the description. There's something in there for you.